Okay. Streak for streak so far is four. Let's see if I can continue continue it. Probably not, but still. <laughs> you like my orange cord. Yeah, it's a nice cord. Actually, let's check the curse room first. It might have something cool in it. Let's come back later. Let's see what's on the mug. Oh yeah, probably shouldn't actually show this mug on stream. This actually has like my hometown listed on it. I prefer people not actually know what hometown I'm actually from. I always say I'm from Lexington, Massachusetts, but that's actually a very flagrant lie. It's not, I mean, I'm pretty close. And like, realistically, if you went to, if you like, camped out in Lexington, Massachusetts for the next like, year, you might actually see me walk by. Will you recognize me? Probably not. You will have probably lost your mind by that point, but still. Uh, is there a cap for the amount of passives you can take in one run? No! You can find that one out, but ow. You can find that one out by doing a basement run. Basement runs pretty much teach, teach you that there are very few limits in Isaac. But there you you usually end up with epic fetus and then just you feel sad. I don't even know. But no. So I, I say I'm in Lexington, Massachusetts, and I'm close, but I'm not there. And and it's mainly just so nobody shows up in my house. I don't know. I I've I've heard of fans showing up at YouTubers' houses. Being like, hey, you know, can can I record with you guys? Like, that's part of the reason why I say Game Grumps probably does not publicize where the Grump space is, and why Rooster Teeth actually has a security guard. I think several. They even do like guided tours and stuff, which is kind of neat. And is actually something I would like to go on, just because it would be kind of fun. But um, but like, it is a personal fear that somebody will be like, I need to go see Wanderbot. And then show up at my house and, like, you know, try and effectively, you know, barge in or whatever. Because that would that'd be really uncomfortable. That would be really uncomfortable. Really for everybody. And I know people have done it, and it's something that is, like, a personal fear of mine. Even though it's largely irrational. Well, that was effective. What? Inner Eye will work with 2020 in Afterbirth? Damn! Damn. That would be cool. Yep. Okay, I actually don't know how much HP I have. God, I hope it's more than half a heart. It'll, this will be really embarrassing to lose my immediately kind of small streak on uh, going into the curse room for those black hearts in a second. But I think I'm okay as far as HP goes. Let's see, remember the swatting that happened. Yeah, that that's part of the other reason uh, why I don't want uh, people to know actually what town I'm from and stuff like that. Uh, because, you know, I really don't want, you know, a bunch of police cars to show up at my house. And, uh, you know, wake me up, probably take me away in cuffs for shooting my entire family until they realize that my family is sleeping directly on the other end of the house. That'd be really uncomfortable. And is also a deep-seated fear of mine. Um. That said, I've not heard of somebody getting swatted in... A couple of years. The last time was, the last time was one of the creatures, and that was pretty much it. I know they got the, um, I know they got one of the guys, and actually, and actually like put him away for at least a number of years. I'd have to, I'd have to check the, I'd have to check the news to see if anybody else has been arrested or anybody else has been swatted, but. I haven't heard of a, a like, actually major swatting in a very long time, which is a really good thing, because honestly, swatting is quite possible. fuck. Quite swatting is quite possibly one of the, like, shittiest things you can do to a, a to a YouTuber or a streamer. Um, I mean, it's terrifying, uh, kind of depending on, like, what police force you're working with there. Some of them can be really gun-happy, too. And, I mean, for the most part... I'm not, I don't want to get into, like, you know, cop politics or anything like that, just because we've had too much of that in the past couple of years, but it's still one of those where it's like, it does happen. Like, uh, I've probably told this story before, but, uh, my, my, you know, my friends and I decided to do a senior prank, just like, just like, uh, you know, anybody else. And so we were, we were trying to quickly, uh, put together a fake brick wall in front of one of the doors in the, uh, from my high school. And we were actually doing a very good job of it. Like, it looked pretty clean. Um, and, like, you could just pop it right out and stuff like that. But a, uh, a cop rolls up in a, you know, his cruiser. And, um, and effectively is just, like, gets out with a shotgun. And is like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, 
this is excessive. I am now terrified, and therefore significantly less likely to cooperate properly because I'm wigging out here. Um, and that always kind of stuck with me as one of those where it's like, you roll up to a school with a shotgun, chances are it's going to be students. What are the students doing? Probably nothing major. Please don't bring that shotgun. It's scary. It really is. And, you know, obviously, we just had to clean it up, and we weren't allowed to keep it up. But still, I don't know. Always stuck with me as kind of one of those, like, ridiculous things of, like, I suddenly am very, very worried about, like, my personal safety uh, around, you know, anybody with a gun, actually. Um, but I guess that's also kind of a product of having a bunch of, like, you know, relatives that sell and have, like, a lot of guns. It's, it's weird going to, like, one of my uncle's houses, because it's like, you know, where you'd normally see a bunch of family pictures and stuff like that, he's got just a bunch of rifles, and I'm like, can I, like, can I see your, like, my cousins? Like, can I see what they're, uh, what they look like nowadays? And he's like, no. No, I took down the pictures for more guns. And it's like, why? You don't need, you don't need, like, 50 guns. Why do you have these 50 guns? And, I mean, the dude sells guns, so go figure, he's going to be a massive gun aficionado. But, like, I'm a massive video game. Are you kidding me? Did I just not go into this? I don't even know. Okay, uh, do we want the magnet? Not really. Lazarus's rags. Ooh. Okay. That gives me some options. I'm gonna have to worry about that there, but still. Bap. But. Like, I'm a massive video game nerd, but I generally don't, like, display them in favor of, like, other semi-important household things. I don't know. Whatever. I guess it's his thing and he can do what he wants, but it's just like... I don't even want to talk to you, because all you want to talk about is guns, but I guess all I want to talk about is video games. So I guess we have more, com more in common than I thought. Because, yeah. No, I, I am... I'm kind of single-tracked single mind as far as video games go. So... The more I think about it, the more I realize that it's just kind of a culture culture gap than anything else. But it's still unnerving. I don't want to get, uh... I don't want to deal with anybody with a gun. Pretty much ever. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Kurt, fuck. Curse XL. And we're probably not going to get a deal with the devil from this. Let's get a reroll before we do this. Ow. Really hard to dodge when they're all the red variety. I guess we got this guy that isn't, but still. At least we got, uh, Fear Shot. And I can go Lazarus if I want to. And I believe Lazarus is a damage up. A damage multiplier. It's a concern, but still. We will see. Okay. What did even hit me there? Is it from behind? I don't know. I'm squandering all of my health. Well, with luck, we'll get a deal with the devil here, and then I'll be able to, uh... Kill myself for Lazarus. I don't have any keys. That's a problem. I don't have any keys or any bombs. Why is this a thing today? Why is it just, like, give Wanderbot no base resources day? Oh, there they are. Ha! Funny. Alright. Well, I don't have much I can do here. We've got the curse room, but I don't want to go into it. Just because I'm quickly running out of spirit hearts and stuff like that. Though my chances of getting a deal with the devil are pretty low right now. Okay, Lazarus is a 1.5 damage up. Is it 1.5 times or just 1.5 damage up? Because if it's just 1.5, it's not worth pursuing. But if it's a 1.5 times... No. 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 Nope, 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 nope. Not doing that. Do not feel like doing... A fetus in a jar run. Which is what? Dr. Fetus? About the same thing. I really hope they make Dr. Fetus actually worthwhile in... Okay, 1.5 times. Okay, so Lazarus is totally worthwhile, given my situation. I don't have a whole lot of damage here. I guess I do have synth oil on top... Ow, come on. I do have synth oil on top of everything else, but still... Well, I mean, I'm pretty much just pushing myself for an early grave anyway. Uh, I'm probably going to need to do that one way or another. Otherwise, I'm not going to get into this deal with the devil. I'm going to take too much damage here. Which, I guess, really isn't necessarily a problem. Box of spiders. 
We need so many rerolls, and we're not going to get to use them all, are we? I can go back for that key, and maybe we'll get a battery in the shop. Which would be convenient. Come on, drug. Be good drug. Found pills. Alright. Meaningless drug. So we, we've got Laz... I mean, we've got Lazarus's rags. That's kind of the weighing thing here. Gotta work on my dodging, obviously. But it is it is getting... To the end of the night. So go figure my, like, gameplay is gonna be bad. I just don't wanna... Don't wanna lose a good streak run. If I can avoid it. Let's see. Okay, so we've got the reroll. Let's go back. Let's reroll. Lazarus's rags is not a damage up. It's not? Well, it's a multiplier. Yes? Hey, speaking of... Probably should have thought about that one. Oh, well. We'll take Petrified Poop. Okay. So we've got... I mean, we're big. But now we actually do some damage here. Okay, so that was a really good reroll. Uh, let's see. Let's check this. We've got a key... Damn. Okay, so there's options. I want that. I want that bad. Hopefully we get to deal with the devil here. Hopefully we can use and abuse it, kill ourselves, respawn as Lazarus, and go on a murderous rampage for a variety of uh, reasons and effects. Unfortunately, I'm not betting on it, which is unfortunate. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Unfortunately, I'm probably not gonna get that reroll. Probably should have thought of that before. I really know. Magic Mush is quite possibly one of the best things we could have gotten, and honestly, my chances of getting it... No, we are going to get a deal with the devil here. Or, not a deal with the devil, we're going to at least get a reroll, so that, that puts us in a good spot. I love it how scumming is just, like, my main m mode of operations at all times, no matter what. And it's like, gotta get that reroll. Gotta get that reroll all the time. Okay. That was kind of a weird death dirge. At least we're getting keys now. So we're good there. We do have the battle room, which has a bunch of red chests in it that I haven't been in. So we're going to save that as a backup option. Let's go check the deal. Let's go check the... Let's go see if we get to deal with the devil here. Actually, crap. Let's go blow up the shopkeeper. Hey! Alright, that's a damage up. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Oh, really? It's only a 1.2 damage multiplier. Well, in that case, maybe not. I don't know. That's less appealing than I wanted it to be. Okay, so let's just... Yeah, let's get it. I want those options. Wow. Alright, that gave me nothing. I see a coin back in the one area, so maybe we can do some other things. I don't know. Okay. Well... Oh, shoot. Do we want there's options before we do anything else here? Well, we're not going to get any more rerolls, so let's let's go hunt for some money. I just got to make sure that. Come on, give me a coin here. Yeah, because I would like there's options before the next boss fight. Should have been thinking about that one, honestly. Nothing. Also, not worth it. Thank you, Harlequin, baby. Thank you, actually, sort of weird hookshot physics in this game. Never really understood why it's in there, but I'm so glad it is. Makes my life easier. Okay, so I haven't taken damage yet. We gotta get through one boss fight. Now, I could bomb the uh, donation machine, but that seems excessive. Could bomb that, but I don't need a key. Oh, hey, we got these fires. Could bomb that, that gives me... Three. There we go. Don't have to waste any bombs. Good. Just in case. Yeah, 1.2 multiplier, but lose all but one heart. See, that's the thing. I I can potentially see that as a actually good option. My goal would be uh, sacrifice all of my uh, all of my red hearts in favor of um, sacrifice all of my red hearts in favor of a uh, a small damage multiplier, which I think stacks with, with Magic Mushroom. I actually don't know if the multipliers necessarily stack with each other. That is something I should probably check. 
I'm glad I got those options here. And we get... We'll get the belt. So now I go fast. We didn't get to deal with the devil like I originally surmised. But yeah, what I'd, I'd like to do is actually sacrifice all of my red hearts to get me a, uh... You know, some, some level of power. Okay, so let's try this first. Not like we're gonna get a deal with the devil one way or another. And this is this is a wash, but that's fine. But yeah, so if I could like sacrifice my red hearts for like, I don't know, um, the mark, eh, maybe not the mark. I don't know. Uh, really, just like several fairly hefty power ups, and then I become Lazarus. Then I'd I'd be a really happy camper. Unfortunately, chances of this happening, you know, slimmer than I'd like. So I'm going to go down to nil health, and it is not going to do me any good. So let's preserve our health here. We've got to reroll. Let's go reroll the item room. Maybe it's going to be something useful. Magic mirror. Is it worth it? Yeah, my range is really good. So let's go around collecting red hearts and not killing ourselves. I could just ball my way to that one. But that seems excessive. Okay. We've got... A spirit heart. In the shop, but I don't have the money for it. So I think I'm just gonna have to play good. That's a problem. Yeah, I, I would rather save Lazarus' rags. So, ideally, I will, on the next floor, give one spirit heart if I can. And hang on to it with dear life. And save all the other ones. And use them on um, on a Lazarus transformation if I can get it. If I can't get it, it's not it's not super useful. Okay. So, let's get out of here. Because, <sighs> yeah, it would be a handy damage up on top of what we've already got. Well, this is... Bit, that's a bit of a wash no matter what you say. Fuck. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hit him. This is definitely a reason why magic, uh, magic mirror is kind of useless. Oh god. Are you kidding me? Well, we lost whatever deal with the devil chance we had there. We might still have one, but that is... Oh god. Note to self, never pick up Magic Mirror ever again. I don't even know really why you want Magic Mirror. I guess if you have Strike Through, it's kind of handy. That was super shitty, though. I guess we get Yum Heart, so we can use that to our advantage. Impossible fight. It was possible, but it definitely screwed me over in one regard. Okay, so we get Whip Worm. That, that, uh, nullifies our weakness. Ow, come on. Alright, fine. So we've taken damage here, so we can kind of do whatever we want. Our chances here have been reduced. Come on, give me something cool. Well, this qualifies, but not in the way I wanted it to. Okay. So do a fair amount of damage here. So, I mean, we've got some we've got some things. We've got some decent things, actually. I'm glad I picked up Whipworm there. Okay, it's good if you have rubber cement. Yeah, that makes a fair amount of sense. Honestly, just the inclusion of Whipworm has made a fairly massive difference here. Oh, I do have the pentagram. So that actually gives me a fairly... Uh, that's, what, an extra 10%. And I think I still have a decent percent if I don't take damage on the boss fight. God, I really wish I could blow through all of these. If I don't take damage on the boss fight, and I believe if I blow up Judgments and or the Shopkeeper, both would be... Both would be beautiful. I was going to say, like, respectable options? I don't even know. Okay. Uh, let's plop a bomb right there. Come on, give me a black heart or something. The answer is nothing. Okay. Well, can't say I'm surprised. Am I disappointed? Yes. Screw these guys. Screw the, the flying sk skull things. I don't even know. Okay. So yeah, so the nice thing is if I miss, it gives me a little bit of an option here. Drugs, luck down. Great. 
I have no compunction to do that. Okay, so what do we got in this one? Rotten baby. I'll take I'll take me a rotten baby. Still need bombs pretty badly. But rotten baby is acceptable. Okay. Oh. PhD would be nice. Getting one more coin is mainly what we need here. If I can get one more coin, then we can buy a bomb. Then we can blow up the uh, shopkeeper. I think that's a boost. Somebody once told me it was. And I see no reason to doubt them. Okay. And it's not like we're running any more risk. We took damage here. I did fairly well, honestly. Like, I'm floored that I actually... Oh, you know what I should have done? Should have just used my one bomb to bomb out of that room. Probably would have been okay if I had done that. Hey, there's the coin. Okay, let's go bomb the shopkeeper. Gives me a decent chance. Whoops. Bomb. Uh. Banned the wrong person. Okay, so. Blowing that one up. Unfortunately, we were fighting quite possibly the shittiest boss with our current situation. AK, fuck this guy. Shit. Hey, we got it anyway. Alright, that's useful. Okay, we get Torn Photo. And we get Judas's Shadow. What a weird situation. Okay. We're not missing anything. I'm going to die. The question is, am I going to am I going to die repeatedly, or am I only going to die once? I don't know. I believe in myself. I've got pretty hefty damage, and Judas's shadow might mitigate our issues. That said, who knows? I have no idea. This is such a weird run, and I'm playing it really risky. But yeah, Judas's shadow would make me do really crazy damage on top of everything else. So that's really good. Yeah, got to be Laz first. Now, I could kill myself on this, but that seems stupid. That was close. Going to try not to take damage here, if I can avoid it. Unfortunately, that's probably not going to do me a whole, lot, a whole heck of a lot of good here, but still. I was probably seeing that one hard. Okay, we're getting bombs. So what we're on the hunt for here is uh, not Red October, admittedly, but let's be honest here, that would be really weird if it was. I mean... <laughs> oh man, that would be a hilarious, hilarious way to theme uh, the release of Afterbirth. Just like everybody dresses up like submarine captains and, act, and acts like we're, uh, we're doing something that we're clearly not. That would be really dumb. I want to do it. Okay, so we get Roid Rage. I'll take it. More range ups on this. Oh god. My tears, they, they fly. Thank you for Fear Shot, even though I'm floored that Fear Shot even works in this situation. Okay. This is, my shot speed is insane. Okay. There's a Spirit Heart. I don't have the money for it, which is a problem. Uh, but said. Yeah. Oh. Almost died. Yeah, so if I can kill myself, become Judas's shadow, before we go into the mom fight, we're going to be in a good situation here. Okay. Obviously, would like to get my hands on... Um... Judas' shadow first? I don't even know. Okay. So we don't need any rerolls here. We're not going in there. That cannon will kill me. So I need three coins. Can I get three coins? Don't know. Oh. 
that makes me think. We've, we've got a bomb now, so I can blow this up. Two spirit hearts. Alright, that's a very good feeling. I've got a... I've got that, so I can, at the very least, walk into that. I've got a bomb. Let's save it. Let's see what else we got here. I could bomb those. That might give me something good. Not sure. That's not going to give anything good. Yeah, so I, I might be able to bomb the purple flames if I wanted to. Would they get me... Spirit hearts, though, I don't know. It's probably one of the better chances we've got right now. Shot speed is amazing. Okay, well, we get, we get another bomb. Okay, so first and foremost... Let's kill ourselves. So we get some more keys. Not really useful. Lemon party. Not great. Okay. So we get Lazarus's rags. Which we don't want either. Now I believe... This is going to re uh, respawn me in here. We grab this spirit heart. Okay, so there's step one. Step two, don't have a whole lot of money. We need to get more. Let's see how we get more. I uh, can't get those. Could go in here. That would be a major risk. I don't know what kind of bonus we would get from it. Be interesting, though. Okay, let's try not to take damage. Let's bomb that. Cross our fingers that it gives me something good. The answer is it doesn't. So we're going to have four and a half, four and a half, four and a half spirit horts. I just realized I haven't taken damage yet. That said, this is totally worthwhile. So... Could have bombed the donation machine in retrospect. Well, let's uh, go for the risk group response. Let's go do the boss trap. I do a lot of damage. I should be okay. Gotta watch out for the weird spiky blocks. And... Come on, come on. Give me something cool. That absolutely counts. Holy shit. Okay, so we got a red heart. So now if we do get a deal with the devil, we can actually do something with it. Good. Come on, please be somebody benign. And the answer is yes. Okay, so we are... We are... We are... I don't I don't know exactly what to quantify myself as right now. It's not really a sharpshooter or anything like that. I feel like we're just kind of a... We shoot... It's not a sniper. We're an automatic sniper rifle, but that doesn't make any sense. Nobody would ever want to use one of those. Okay. Where's the red heart? There it is. Alright, so I can't get those three coins. Whatever. Of course, we took a little bit of damage. That said, we're in a much better position than we were entering this floor. So that is... That is a massive, massive... Morale boost for me. Gotta watch out for the foot stomping. There's a full... Harder damage, and I don't want to deal with it. And we don't get to deal with the devil anyway. Okay. So the, using the word deal over and over and over. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is Chad even talking about? I... Alright. That is... This is confusing. Okay. Well, at least we churn through people. We do a lot of damage. This is what happens when you start stacking damage multipliers. You get... You get... Uh, some pretty crazy town hits here. Which is good. Thank you, Whipworm. Now, please, give me some more spirit hearts, because I desperately need them. Ow. Fucking bomb flies, man. Bomb flies. Not the greatest. Okay. And I don't know if those are mine. Uh, theirs are mine. Oh, stay away from that. Stay away from that. I got the eyeball in the center. Okay, good. So, unfortunately... Our uh, spirit heart advantage lasted for all of one room. Thank you. God, these weird tentacle things are unnerving, even though I know for a fact they don't do anything. Okay, so we get an extra long room. That's not really a problem. It's concerning, but it's not really a problem. You know what, let's take out these. Can't cross the creep right now yet. There's a problem, but we're okay. Okay, so as long as we don't get hit by his, like, weird spit shot, we're good. I'm very possessive of my health. At least Harlequin... 
Harlequin baby boss. Generally not an issue. Okay, so we've got some drugs. We get nine lives. Do we want to go nine lives? I don't have a guppy item. We could re-roll it. So on one hand, we get the ability for nine lives. Which might give us a chance of survival. On the other hand, we could re-roll and get a power up, but be one hit closer to death. Nine lives gets rid of Judas. Alright, screw it. Alright, works for me. Lord of the Pit, and let's go with Mom's Coin Purse. If we're lucky... We get something amazing. Alright. So I don't have a whole lot of health here, but... Good god, are we just going to be machine gunning tears at people now? Good feeling. Okay. So at this point, I am going to take the incredibly risky decision... To fly all over the place and pray to get some more spirit hearts. Or something. I mean, we've got insane damage. Comparatively so. It's just we desperately need survivability, and that's something that we we're probably going to lack for this entire thing. Okay. We get the Emperor. Hey, that's sort of useful. Do you want to do that golden chest? We'll give it a shot. It didn't really give us what we wanted, but it didn't screw us either. Please don't be like the bloat. The bloat would murder us. But at least we, like, one-hit KO most enemies, and everybody else we just kind of cut into really fucking hard. Okay. Monster is spawning directly on top of me. Glad there's a little bit of a grace period to get out of there. That would suck to die as a result. Okay, we know that pill doesn't do any good. Okay, just be careful, Wandering. You can survive this. Too bad me. Careful. These are not synonymous words. I'm looking for... Looking for tinted rocks. Unfortunately, tinted rocks are kind of hard to spot. And I do have... I do have Rotten Baby. To do me favors. So what do we get? Bad gas. I mean, we don't have to worry about bad trip, I think. I don't think so, at least. So we got that going for us. Okay, down to my last. I'm gonna die right here, right now, fighting this guy. Nope. Okay. Nothing. Not a single spirit heart to show for it. There's one in vertical room four? Bottom right? This one? Not here, not here. Okay. So somebody spotted one. Not here, not here. Okay. Let's go back and check. Unfortunately, chat's running a bit of a time delay, so I have to, uh... I have to go back and double check everything. Oh, it's not gonna be there, it's not gonna be there. Yeah, it's none of these. Okay, let's try going up. Tinted rocks. A way of shutting off the map, period? Doesn't look like it. Shame. No. Not a tinted rock to spare. Okay. Well, we're not gonna do that. So we have to watch ourselves very careful here. Anything could kill me. Super sudden death mode going into utero 2. Good feeling. 
Okay, well, this is gonna be a bit of an experience, but said, you gotta do it, if you gotta do it. I actually didn't realize Nine Lives would circum... circum... Oh, well... There's one. Okay. Come on, give me a spirit heart. Okay. Good, I was just worried that it was gonna give me something useless, like a couple of bombs. I really don't want a couple of bombs. Okay. Well, this is handy. Oh, except for that purple one. Them purple ones. There are several. Oh, God. That... God, why are there a bunch of champion weird... rolling dick intestine creature looking things? I don't know. I'm glad they're all mostly dead, though. Okay. Perfect. Come on. Give me what I most desire. More spirit hearts. Because I'm really not going to be able to make it through... It lives without him. Okay, there we go. Just gotta stay frosty, stay cowardly. Okay, we got another one. Shit. That's not what I need. Okay. At least these guys do not pop up at your feet, unlike certain enemies. Okay. I don't know if I've ever been hit by these guys before. Well, there's a first time for everything, but I'm trying really hard not to. Oh, crap. Eyeball in the center is not a good thing. Luckily, because of my massive tears... Tears up count. We generally don't have to worry about a whole heck of a lot of... Uh, well, we don't have to worry about our low luck. Screwing us over here. Oh. Oh. How did I do that? I don't even know how I managed to do that. Okay, come on, give me a spirit heart here. That's a coin, that's not a spirit heart. No dice. I thought we were gonna live like a king. And then we stopped. Now this guy has a chance to give us HP up. Or completely waste all of my money. I don't know. Well, that's, that's even better than I could have asked for. Come on, give me another one. Don't know. Fanny pack. Alright. Don't have much of a choice on that one. Okay. We're good. 4 HP. Okay. Pro tip. Hold R. Fuck you. Why do these guys always just give me flies? Is it because my because my luck stat is the worst thing in the world? Probably. I remember gambling in here for victory. I don't gamble for victory anymore. Okay. Okay. So we're not dead yet. We are sitting higher and drier with every passing moment here. See, we can still get in here. Let's see what we get. Is it worth it? Probably not. I'll take a look. Curse room. Okay, I was pushing it. I was pushing it really hard. Do I go into the curse room? Am I stupid? Yeah, probably. Get another spirit heart. Let's see Let's see how we do against it lives. Because the thing is, I'm going to do a lot of damage versus it lives. But I have, like, zero defensive abilities. So, that ends up running... a bit counter to what I want to do? I don't know. Dodge that one. We get the sun. I think this will reveal secrets for me. A secret. Okay, whatever. A secret is better than no secrets. I don't even know. Okay. Uh, let's check this one quick. Do we have a tinted rock hiding amongst the knot? The answer is no. Okay. And we get, well, another gambling machine. At least I can shoot this one through. Damn, there's a lot of spammers today. It's crazy. Who does that? I don't even know. Okay, so we've got six health. Yeah. Let's let's get our let's get our ass up to it lives, kill it, and then see how we're feeling. If I can 
if I can kill it lives without taking damage, I'll reward myself with a curse room. Because it's only going to do a so, so much damage to me. Okay. Just keep wailing on it. Water. You believe in you. Okay, we took one damage. Can I survive? I can probably- I can probably survive. Okay, let's go curse room. There's a small chance it will give us some massive power up, or it'll just cost me a spirit heart. That's better odd, odds than the rest of this run, so I don't know. Okay. Yep. Twas worth it. Okay. My concern was sated. Now, I can probably fight Isaac without taking a whole lot of damage. think we're good. Okay. Confidence has been inspired. We are there. I really hope I can get some more spirit hearts, though, over the course of the cathedral. If I can go into the chest full health, mmm. But that's probably not going to happen. How much longer am I planning on streaming? This is probably either the end of it, either that or I play some Endless Legend, but unfortunately I think my energy is waning, and I really, really would like to at some point do a day, day stream. Or at least, you know, just binge a day recording. I don't know, one way or another. I really don't know. Okay. Well. We're not in a bad spot. We're actually in a pretty good spot. Most enemies in the cathedral aren't terribly worrisome. Obviously, the a uh, double adversary room would definitely screw me. Which is something that I would prefer to avoid, but might not have much of a chance. We're getting some bombs here. Which, don't really need bombs that much. But, you know what? It kind of sucks getting tinted rocks. And not being able to blow them up. Actually, you know what? Okay, just pure focus. We could do the... We could do the curse room if I can clear this section without taking damage. And seeing as he... Seeing as he's on pure beam of light mode, pretty much... I think we got this. Okay, one damage on Isaac. Good feeling. Unfortunately, he might beam of light from that corner. Thought so. I was kind of cornered there with his shots. Okay, we're good. Now, oh god, why did I why did I leave? The reflex and habit together in one shitty package. I'm not I'm not gonna go for the curse room. It's not worth the uh, potential health. Okay. Let's see. 24 hour stream. Not today. Would like to. Really soon. I keep saying it. I really want to. It's just a matter of, like, there's non-stop social events for me. Okay, so we're going scapular. Oh yeah, we're going all of these. Unfortunately, I have no idea where I'm going. And... I'm not prepped for anything. That said, damn it. I took damage on one of the more basic enemies in the game. Herp. Derp. Oh well. We're fine. We've still got 5 HP. How did I avoid that? Did we take out Wrath? I don't even know. <laughs> I was so close. That was like seconds before getting smacked around by it. Rough. 59 people can't end now. Yeah, I can do another one. Unfortunately, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Problem is, I, I was just assuming I was safe and I wasn't. Oh well. Assuming I can get to Blue Baby, we're probably fine. I have taken a lot of damage on Blue Baby in the past, though, unfortunately. I'm gonna hold on to that one. For when I'm super injured. I'm really hoping I get something like the Wafer. But instead we got, I mean, a number of kind of semi-useful, okay things. I'm gonna assume that he's over here. Fuck the bloat. I was not within range. My tears knocked him down. Either that or I scooted up just a little bit there. Alright, so unfortunately our health is actually dwindling more so here than the than in the cathedral. But then again, I teleported straight to Isaac in the cathedral. So I guess go figure. And this is a fun and kind of unique run. But it definitely, it definitely isn't one of my proudest. Okay, tears up. Alright, I'll take it. We got that going for us. Like, we've got massive damage potential here. Now, if I take damage in this room, it's gonna it's just gonna be sad.
I guess I could have got a really large hitbox in retrospect. And that's causing some amount of consternation and problems. Oh, that was close. Saw that just coming out of the corner of my eye, effectively, and it's just like... Oh. Death comes. Okay. We're good. We are good. I believe in us. We can do it. Please don't ha give me a double cage room. This is close to concerning. We've got the fear effect. Now, admittedly, my luck is so bad. I'm at max tears and taking the skinny up mushroom. Only give me a da damage down. You sure? I haven't really gotten a whole lot of tears ups. Oh, well, double cage room. Just got a spirit heart. Jesus Christ. I did not realize that traverses the entire freaking room. Okay, so just keep doing that. Just keep doing that. Keep... Oh, my fear effect is keeping them wildly at bay. Please die. Thank you very much. Alright. Yeah, the fear effect stops them from rolling. Good to know. Okay. Oh, shit. One of those little fatlings. And it's probably over here. These guys are comically easy. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I'm not impervious to harm. I'm also not impervious to failing to dodge or dodging straight into enemy attacks. Both of which, totally possible. Very sad if if happens. Okay. Fuck. Forgot he does that. Okay, he's over here. He's gotta be over here. There's one thing. And generally, he can't shoot from the other side of the room, so I think we're okay. Just one more room. Take out Sloth if I can. Weirdly enough, took out everybody but Sloth first. Okay, Empress, may your rage bring power. I'll take it. Damage up. Okay, two hits, and I'm down. But I think we got this in the bag. <sighs> oh, that was a run. That was a hard run, but we made it. We made it. Okay. Do we do one more? Fuck it. 